Hello, everyone. Welcome to Elian's Joy today. I am your host, Elian Haan, and I am glad to see you here today on this episode of Elian's Joy. I'm going to bring something to you today, some information that is very dear to my heart, and it's kind of one of my missions to bring more mental health awareness to the fitness organizations and to the wellness space in our country. And I will explain to you today why. I just recently wrote an article about it. And it has been a space, of course, that I moved into years ago, a decade ago, and that I'm very passionate about. And also as a life coach or, or as a life coach, but also a career fitness pro, I like to bring those two things together. What does it mean when we talk about mental health? What is it exactly? Why are we needing to pay more attention to mental health awareness in general? What can we do to implement some extra additional uh, knowledge and skill sets and tool sets in our space, in our fitness and wellness space, and also in the corporate industry, talking about that another time. How can we do that and with who can we do that? So I'm talking a little bit about that today. I am, like I said, a, a life coach and an executive coach already for a long time and i have a practice in texas i'm also a career fitness pro i have a yoga studio and a fitness studio and i operate both things together right and they go together everything is about mind and body and uh wellness and health mind body spirit with me and so i want to explain a few of those things to you today what do we mean with talking about this mental health awareness right what does mental health really uh, stands for well it refers to a person's emotional uh psychological and social well-being it is influential in in really how we think and how we feel and how we behave it is influence and influence does influence or how we handle stress and relate to others and make decisions. That about mental health. It influences how we handle stress, how we relate to others, and how we make decisions. A good mental health, a healthy mental health, is essential for overall well-being and good functioning in daily life, right? And when we have a little bit of issues, when there's a lack of that awareness of our mental health, there are several issues that can arise. So one of the first ones is, of course, that there's a stigma around mental health awareness. And there's still a lot of that going on, although we are getting better at it. We're definitely getting better at it. I had this discussion yesterday with somebody about talking about how we feel and what is going on in our life, because we used to not talk about it at all. And if you are around some baby boomer generations like I am, or a little bit younger, but then you know that we just didn't talk about it a lot. We just kind of moved on, get over it, all that stuff, right? So nowadays there is still a stigma but there's also more, we are creating more awareness around the topic of being in a good state of mental health. And if we are not, then there's often a stigma around it. It leads us to be ashamed or embarrassed, right? And we're not seeking help all the time. There's also, if we are suffering from some mental health issues, there's also a delayed treatment because that lack of awareness that can cause us to kind of overlook or ignore the symptoms that are there and the people around us if they're not aware that's what i'm going to talk about today will also not recognize those conditions and worsening the conditions around the person right that might be a client that you work with that might be a patient that you work with that might be personnel or staff member of your organization or your corporate environment so we need to bring a little bit more awareness right we have a little bit more of an antenna there to uh, what we see in people around us as well we have poor coping mechanisms if we are not in a good state of mental health so we might result to unhealthy coping strategies that might be substance addiction that might be withdrawal overall isolation and that's all due to a lack of understanding how to manage our mental health right we go then in a state of anxiety or depression and definitely isolate ourselves from the rest of the world we are also experiencing that increase in stress and anxiety absolutely without proper awareness and support Definitely that support is important. Uh, mental health challenges can lead to chronic stress, to anxiety, to depression, and impacting that overall quality of life. It is something that we want to be aware of for ourselves, 
in our own self-development and also worrying or, or, or working and treating others. So it can also impact our relationships at work. Unaddressed mental health issues can strain relationships. Absolutely. They reduce productivity and lead to difficulties in maintaining employment or achieving life goals altogether. So raising that awareness is really important for me. And I'll tell you a little bit about why um, I'm on a mission to bring that to more fitness organizations. So what I can do is train and mentor and coach staff members, employees in your fitness or wellness organization to just become more aware of that implementing mental health, of these mental health tools, that implementing of mental health. What does that mean? In these dynamic world, worlds, right, where we used to, I used to operate in it all the time, in large fitness organizations, the pursuit of physical health was always number one, right? And definitely in my days, it was all about just jumping jacks, um, burpees, right? A six pack, talking about abs, and just being in excellent physical shape. Nowadays, we're looking at a lot more. So the, the, the fitness organizations, the dynamic world, right? The pursuit of that mental health always took center stage, but we're changing that a little bit. We're moving a little bit into a more aware space of that mental health and bringing in more awareness to our clubs and to our fitness organizations. The importance of this awareness and, and, and some life coaching skills are coming in there, right? That's why... I, as a life coach, as an, as an expert on this topic, I like to train others on it. It cannot be overstated in this driving sustainable impact and fostering a more holistic environment, a more holistic approach to well-being. That's what we're trying to do. So we're trying to bring that also into the corporate space, to bigger organizations, to larger events, to just make sure that everybody is aware of where somebody is at. That's what we're talking about. Where is this person at? Where is my client at? I need to meet them where they're at. That's the most important thing. Incorporating trauma-informed care, what I do here, one-to-one -one coaching or group coaching or mentoring or training, professional development in this will reach the core of the fitness industry and the core of your fitness organization. It's not just a trend. It's a crucial investment and in developing your talents your people, making sure that they are working on self-development and recognizing that in others, ensuring long-term success for your organization. So why is this so important? The vital role of this mental health awareness in your organization, in your fitness club, in your wellness space, it's an integral part right now. We have a primary focus on physical health, of course, first, but there's a growing recognition to need to address to address that mental health and that mental well-being. What does it lead to if we do so? Well, definitely more enhanced client satisfaction, right? We feel that they are more understood, they're, they're supported mentally, they're more likely to remain committed to their fitness goals, the experience, a sense of belonging and trust, and that, of course, encourages the client to make that long-term uh, engagements, that long-term commitments to your fitness classes, to your fitness club. Secondly, it improves outcomes, right? Mental health awareness can lead to better physical health outcome. Stress, anxiety, and depression can hinder that physical progress. But by addressing these, the stress, the anxiety, depression, by addressing these issues, fitness professionals can help the client overcome the barriers and achieve their goals more effectively. And number three, we are definitely creating a stronger community. Promoting mental health, definitely awareness of it. It fosters a more supportive and an inclusive community. So in that sense, we can be a powerful motivator. We can encouraging members to support each other as staff members, as colleagues, and also work towards common goals for our club, for the fitness club, for the gym, for each other, and for our clients. So it goes a little bit beyond just physical training. You understand my drift here, right? So it complements the physical training provided by the fitness professional. It definitely does. So what does it include? 
things like active listening and goal setting, motivational skills that you use to empower somebody else, to inspire somebody else, to make sure that they stay motivated. It's all essential for addressing the unique needs of each client. We'll go a little bit more into what those unique needs are. They're not anymore like we used to say, what do you want to do? You just want to lose weight. You just want to get in shape and enhance your cardiovascular activities. You want to be able to have, uh, you know, more endurance. You want to be in better shape, a good condition overall. All that, great. But we need to look a little bit behind the curtain of what supports all these goals as well as home, as in the club, right? And how can we support that? What is the mindset of somebody? We weren't really aware of that in the days. We were just getting after it and go do it, right? And those were the days that I was teaching five-step classes a day. Let's not bring that up anymore. But you get my drift. It's all about implementing that whole vision of who you're bringing into the club, right? So what does it do again? If you are enhancing your personal skills and your own personal development skills, you work on yourself and you work on somebody and with somebody else, you are supporting them. They are getting that personalized support. So that coaching, these life coaching skills, they allow us fitness professionals to tailor our approach to the client, more tailored to their individual needs, their goals, their challenges, their challenges. Right, They might have an array of self-awareness tools and exercises that you bring so that they can create that same motivation, that same energy at home as well in the days that are not with you. Because that is one of the things that we lose people sometimes through or, or you know, one of the things that they are they're, they're coming two times a week, but they're not doing at home. What would support their goals? So they are in an entirely different environment and they don't get that. So we need to look at it and we need to overall address it a little bit more. That way we can support them, empower them as well, right? So we can empower them to take control of the situation when it comes to their health and well-being. They also, our clients, develop confidence and coping skills to overcome obstacles as well outside the club and make those sustainable life changes lifestyle changes that they need to implement at home in their personal life as well. And so that way we are creating overall in the club and for our clients, a more holistic environment. We have those, those uh, you know, we're addressing not just physical fil- fitness, but their mental state of mind, their emotional well-being, what's really going on, you know, what happens. Why did it stop you? Why did you not move on? What is your support system? Those questions are really good to ask. And we have several ways to get there. So it's a more comprehensive approach that is really important for your club, for your wellness center, for your industry, and maybe for your corporate environment altogether, right? We just need to work with people and definitely with our own staff as well in a different way, taking a broader approach. What implements that exactly? We We are creating safe spaces, trauma-informed care, being aware of all these things. It's an essential component, essential component of that mental health awareness, being able to recognize, understand, and, and, and be there, support somebody through maybe trauma times or trauma triggers that might come up. Right. While you're working with them, right, there might be something in their past that com- that, that does not complement their holistic approach. It does not complement their workout. It does not complement the time that they're with you because there's something that is constantly in their mindset holding them back. And if there's, for instance, just verbal trauma in a sense of you're never good enough, you do look ridiculous, right? If somebody has taught themselves that all their life, and it's hard for you to help them if you don't understand that that is their their mental barrier, that that is their thinking of, that is their, how they think about themselves. So that is not really leading to improvement. Because at that point, it looks like they're maybe making, maybe making some physical improvements, but that personal improvement, that mindset is not supporting that because they'll go or leave the club and still think it will probably never be enough. I probably can do it. So we need to feel that we can draw people in by making them feel more supported, by bringing that safety and trust, by bringing that empathy and understanding 
So when we are more in an empathic space, then we can really understand what our clients is going through, right? We can we can bring that understanding. We can make them feel understood and supported. And at the same time, by helping them overcome those trauma triggers or overcome that negative thinking or overcome that limiting belief system that somebody comes and walks in with, we can definitely, through that trauma-informed care, through that mental health awareness, help them build resilience as well, not just physical, but also mental, right? And that is so great. So we're coming to a better EQ, emotional awareness, emotional, intellectual understanding of where somebody is and how we can help them to come to that space of balance and this is important in every space i keep saying it's also important in any corporate environments because if we don't understand the people that we're working with if we don't support them if we don't ask what happens what is going on how are you at home what is going on in your personal environments what have you experienced the last couple of months then we cannot always without doing so and without bringing that understanding into a, a conversation, right? Bringing that support into a conversation, then we don't know if the outcome that we expect from somebody is going to be the same all the time. Maybe our expectations are way too high. We're putting way too much on somebody, or maybe we can encourage them to do better just by understanding them and creating empathy, right? Now, in maximum the maximum impact if we have somebody one-on-one -on -one, of course because then you can really create that focused attention right one-on-one -on -one coaching one-on-one -on -one working out one-on-one -on -one fitness training personal training allows us for that focused attention on each client to really approach their needs and their goals and if we have again a better understanding of what lies beneath and what lies behind and what goes on behind the curtain, then we can understand why maybe this didn't deliver any results, why there was not any success the whole week, why they didn't do it, why they didn't show up. So we can understand what is effective and what is efficient going on this one on one with our clients. We can, as well as fitness and wellness professionals, we can then develop customized training, right? It is not the same for everybody. And we're more and more coming to that understanding. We're all unique. We're all different. Everybody has a different path. Going back to what I started with. So meeting somebody where they're at, and that is for everybody different. I'm not talking about a group X class, but I'm talking about personal training and personal work with people, just like I do in one-on-one -on -one coaching. And as somebody who can train people to become a life coach, I am a trainer for Fowler International to train people to get certified as a life coach. You might bring that into your club, into your gym, into your fitness environment, into your fitness corporate space. So reach out because I'm your man for that. Right through training, through mentoring, through one on one, through working with staff to become a little bit more aware of how we can reach somebody one on one and how we can meet somebody where they're at. So we create again that focused attention training. We have more integrated, customized plans. We have that accountability. We are setting up for motivation. We're setting up for internal motivation. We're setting up for, you know, to be able to inspire them, to really create something new and go towards those goals and to and, and create those action plans towards those goals to where the client wants to be. So we're investing. If we do this with our own staff, we're also investing in talent. If we are more and more creating our own staff, our own personal trainers, our own group X trainers to be there, to be in, in that more awareness, mental awareness space, then that will definitely be the cornerstone of your organization, any corporate or environment, any corporate space. By investing in the continuous growth and development of your staff as an organization, you can enhance skills for everybody with what outcome outcome we already talked about with greater outcome for your clients right happy clients that then will come back that then will stay where you are they will stay in that space they will come back to your club they're happy they'll come back to stay forever and they'll tell others about it 
So they're all great referral sources for you. They'll tell everybody else. So you are enhancing the skills of your staff to create that safe space and that wonderful environment where everybody is invested in that mental health awareness. So you increase that retention, right? People stay, people stay. They're making that commitment and you're making that commitment to staff growth and development. Also your, the personal development, self-mastery of your staff, the personnel you work with. Right, you foster innovation, people are becoming more creative. They will more look and have a better outlook on what they can do for their clients and set goals. So really exploring those new techniques and new approaches will lead to better outcome for everybody overall. I hope that speaks a little bit to you because I'm very passionate about that. I've done lots of training. I've done lots of coaching one-on-one, -on -one, lots of webinars and lots of corporate training and courses. So in any capacity, I can help you a little bit more towards creating a path of mental health awareness in the corporate space, in the fitness space, in the wellness space. Any organization can use a little bit of a better and deeper look at what we're doing and how we're training our staff, our employees, how we are treating them. And then of course, if they're in a great space, you have happy clients, you have happy customers, absolutely. So my personal conclusion is really that with the integration of mental health awareness and life coaching skills and some trauma-informed care, some one-on-one -on -one coaching, you and your team will definitely have and set off on the set out for the professional development in your organization. It's not just beneficial to you, but of course, a sign of the time and very essential for everybody. And these collective elements, of course, they drive that impact, right? You can retain more people, more clients, right? You have now a great club, a great organization. You are prioritizing these investments and you will definitely have a super team of talent. Again, Enhanced of client satisfaction. Be more informed. The future of fitness is not just about physical strength anymore, but also about mental well being, resilience, emotional balance, and overall well being. My name is Elian Haan. You can find me, elianhaan.net, on my internet, on my website. If you want to reach out, elianhaan at gmail.com. So please reach out if you have questions. If you want to put some training in your business, if you want me to come for some coaching, if you want me to help you understand this better, or if you just need a one-on-one -on -one with me, please reach out anytime, elianhaan.net. And this is Elion's Joy. I'm bringing you something today that I'm very, very passionate about, not just as a fitness professional, but also as a coach. And I just want everybody to feel great, to have a great outcome, also in your larger organizations. So make it a great day. As I always say, make it a fabulous day. And I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Namaste.